What's up everyone and welcome back to a Ref6 video. So in this video, what we're gonna do is take you through what you should pack in your kit bag. So this works for new referees, old referees, experienced referees. We all get the same question, what do you pack in your kit bag? So let's open it up. First things first, which I think is just as important as packing your kit, is being prepared for any situation. Most of us have smartwatches, so in our first pocket, we've got my phone, so I can put Ref6 on it as well as a watch charger and a power bank. So we've got the Garmin Vivo Active 4 on our wrist today. Um, so we've obviously got the necessary chargers as well as a power bank. But let's open this up. It's quite a big suitcase, which is quite nice actually. Um, this suitcase retails in at 145 pounds. So for a new referee, we'd recommend just sticking to a normal bag. But for a more experienced referee, it's 145 pounds. It's probably a couple of match fees but it seems quite well compartmentalized. Um, it's got a lot of space. Um, I quite like it at the moment. I don't know how I feel about it because I know a lot of referees do have it, but you know, it could grow on me, I think. But let's open it up. So what have I packed in my kit bag? I think it's very important, first things first, to go through the kit. So in this side of my, uh, whatever this is called, suitcase, is my kit. So in this side, I have got water bottle, a box of tricks, which we'll go through in a second, two sets of flags, or a set of flags, a pair of referee in shorts, warm-up stuff, so warm-up mid-layer, as well as a warm-up top. As you can see, I'm wearing a presentation jacket, and this is the kind of stuff I would turn up to a game into. It's smart, it's functional, it's nice and warm. I can quickly unzip it and have my refs kit underneath. Now, we have now two match tops. One black one, which for most Sunday League referees and youth referees, we'd recommend just one. This one is black, which is probably perfect. If you want to spend a little bit more money, we'd recommend getting a second colour, just in case you clash with any kit. So we've got the green one. Uh, which is probably my favourite away shirt, if you want to say away shirt. Uh, that's my favourite kit. So, that is the kit side of things in terms of actual physical wearing kit. But, I think it's important to go through this next part of the kit. So, this is something called my box of tricks, which you would have seen in many different vlogs. Um, and if I open it up, all it is, is, is a complete and utter mess. Here it is. So, in this box, I carry loads of stuff that I've picked up along the the years of you know going out with other referees and um, all the stuff I need to complete the game. So in this box, I have my Capelli sweatband, as I'm sure you've seen how buzzing I am about this, my whistle, which is a Fox 40. This also has my coin in it as well, but I, I have a little bag of old coins in here and a lucky penny I found in Thailand. So, you know, they're the kind of junk that you find in these kind of boxes, as well as pin badges in case I ever need to put a badge on about my Sussex County FA, depending on cup games, a spare lanyard and a spare whistle, another spare whistle, a hairband, because my hair is getting progressively longer. So if obviously anyone's got long hair, please bring spares, blister blasters, just in case, a pressure gauge. So this means that you can check the footballs um, to make sure they're the right pressure. That means that the last thing that you want is people moaning about you know, the balls being flat. You can check the balls. Even if they hand the balls to you and say, yeah, we've checked them, always double check them. So buy yourself a little pressure gauge. I've got a permanent marker, no idea why. I've got about a thousand Ikea pencils in here, as you can see. An energy gel. Um, I always carry one spare. I usually pack two, one spare, just in case I have them at half time. And then we open this up again, and I have a Casio watch that has been brought down through generations. This is my dad's old Casio watch when he was a referee. You'll get sent some of these as well when you get qualified, which is a match officials expenses card. Sounds really fun and exciting. It's really boring. You just fill out how far you've traveled, how much it's cost, your fee for the game, and how much you've claimed. Most people ask you to write on the back as well your bank details now because of COVID. I've also got a second watch, as well as obviously the watch I wear on my wrist, a spare sweatband, and this is where I have all my cards. Oh, spare hairband. Spare match pads, just in case anything goes wrong. Two wallets with 
red and yellow cards in, as well as a boot stud tightener, just in case any players need a boot stud tightener, an old lanyard and an old whistle, because you just never know, and I haven't taken it out. My usual red and yellow card are these ones, so red will go in my left pocket, yellow goes in my right pocket, and spares that go in my top pocket, so I'm roughly going out with six cards. Um, I haven't bought these anywhere, I've picked these up along the way, uh, from other referees, these actually are from a company that no longer exists. I couldn't tell you where these go uh, from, but always have spares. So that's what we call our box of tricks. So now we've gone through the right hand side, which is actually my general kit in terms of what I'm going to wear and what I have to go out with on the match day. Obviously there are referee socks in here as well, they're just buried away. We have this left hand side, which is a little bit more sort of functional, shall we say. So in this tiny pocket here, which is quite nice, it's away from everything, I've got a set of boots. These are Puma Ultras. I usually go out in Nike Mercurials and Nike Cop uh, Adidas Copas. A towel in case there's a changing room, as well as up here, I've got my wash kit in case there's a changing room I want to shower. Uh, and in there, I've got deodorant, hair gel, you know, the usual works to make yourself look good on the pitch and my berry isotonics as well. So instead of buying loads of Lucozades to keep my electrolytes up, I buy these Science In Sport uh, Hydro Tabs. So, you know, in terms of packing everything, we just have to go for a checklist. Kit, do I need two sets of kit? Is it raining? Warm up stuff, is there a place for me to change? All these little things uh, that we can think about before the game while packing, just tick them off. We'll put a little checklist here so you can go through and tick things off. Um, as and when you want. In terms of getting more fancy and as things go, you just end up buying more expensive kit as you go up in terms of buzzer flags, in terms of you know the newest night kit, the newest warm-up stuff, but you can obviously start really light, which is what I've done, one set of shorts, one set of socks, one set uh, of match top, a mid-layer, you can even warm up in this top as well, you can wet, turn up in the mid-layer as well to keep things slightly cheaper, but that's everything that we pack in our kit bag and what we would recommend packing in your kit bag. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you at the next Ref6 video.